Hi, this is Karen. I wanted to show you some things I've bought recently. Um, it's just some things I bought in the past two to three weeks and I really like them. Um, probably because, well the main reason is because they were cheap. So I thought it would be a good idea to share with you where I got them and um, you know, just why I like them. So one of the first things I got, I'm actually wearing about two or three of the things now, was this jacket. I got this cropped leather jacket here um, from a place called Trash and Vaudeville, which is in St. Mark's Place in uh, the East Village in Manhattan. It's a very basic crop style leather jacket. You know, it's got the epaulettes on top and it's got the belt detail here and um, the side zip that comes up on the side. What I loved about this was that um, I came across it actually through seeing someone who was wearing it in a shop and I went up to her and I thought, I just thought it looked so nice. So I went up to her and I said, why did you get your jacket? And she told me that's where she got it from. And um, the best part was that she only paid $88 for it, which I was, I was, I couldn't believe it. So I was, I just flew over to the place. They were sold out. They restocked them and they came in and I got this. It was $88 because it's a kid's jacket. So I'm actually wearing a child's jacket. Um, and that's why it was cheap because um, leather jackets, even if they're cropped, they still cost a lot of money. So I know, um, you know it was a bargain really to get a leather jacket this thick as well because the leather's really thick on it for this kind of price. And so it's a good um, classic style. It's been around for ages, this style. It never goes out. So it's one of those things that you just, you've got to keep it forever. So this is a nice one to have. And I know because the leather feels really nice, it's like a very matte, um, thick leather, it's going to break in really nicely. And, you know, like most leather jackets, they just look nicer the longer you've been wearing them. So that was one of the first things I got recently. Okay, and the second thing is these leggings. Actually, you know what? These leggings aren't really that cheap. But um, these were from American Apparel. These were about 40-ish. Um, I really like leggings. And what I liked about these ones is that they were a matte finish. So it's very rare to get um, black lycra leggings at the moment because they're all over the place that are, you know, just a matte, non-shiny look. And they have like a very sort of leather look to them as well, which is really unusual. So. It's a nice way to get the look of wearing something that's like, like almost like leather, but inexpensively. So like I said, it was about 40 to 45 for these. And I thought it was a really good buy um, as a way to replicate the look of leather, but without paying the price tag. Um, I got this belt. It's also from Trash in Bordeville. I've actually grown to love that place. So I'm really plugging it. Um, it's just um, a thin, obviously it's just a thin belt, as you can see. Um, it, it's got the pyramid, uh, what do you call this? These little studs that go around it. Um, they're everywhere right now, so I, I really like this. And it's very versatile as well. It goes with everything, with through the belt loops, of, belt loops of jeans, and also over a dress uh, or tunic. And you just wear this on the hip. Um, so this is a really nice, um, cheap, it wasn't expensive to buy because I think it was about 15 for it, something like that. So I thought it was a good price to get. This I got also um, very inexpensively. I'm going to show you a bit closer so you can see. It's um, a bracelet. I got it from um, a chain store called Intermix. Intermix. They're all over the city in Manhattan. I got this one on uh, Fifth Avenue around 18th, 19th Street, something like that. Um, it's gorgeous. What I like about it is because it looks like you got it from a vintage shop. Um, it was originally about 20, 200 and something. Yeah, about 200, about $220. Um, and then it went down to 30, about $30. So when I saw it in the glass cabinet and I saw that price, I was like, I'll take it. So I love this. It looks really nice to wear casually because it's, um, it's, it's vintage looking. It looks nice to me to juxtapose it with something that isn't. So uh, like a pair of old jeans, an old t-shirt, just really dress it down and just let this be your showpiece. So I really like this um, bracelet. And it's also 
I think quite unexpected as well, especially to wear it during the day. So I, I love this thing and you know, the price couldn't be beat. I thought it was such a good discount. Um, what else did I get? The last thing I'm going to show you on this particular YouTube is a fake fur coat that I got. Ta-da! I got this gorgeous, gorgeous coat. I love this coat. It's um, from H&M. And it's funny, I actually tried it on when it was full price and I didn't get it because it was originally about 150 for it um, and it went down to 29.99 I couldn't believe it 29.99 from 150 ish this is how I wear it because I've been wearing it a few times when it's cold it's nice when you can go out when it's cold in the city and you got something that's reasonably stylish or to you you know that, that you really like and I love I really love this. It's really, really warm. The sleeves are sort of like three quarter length, which to me keeps it very modern, um, allowing you to wear it with these long, you know, long gloves. So you've got the rest of your arm covered. Um, it's got the front pockets here. So I just usually wear it like this. And it has a collar here, which I sometimes just lift up like this when it's, the wind is blowing and I just close it up like this. And I love, I love um, it. feels very diva-like when you're wearing it. And I think to go from like, you know, to pay like $30 for something like this that I think is just going to last forever, at least in my wardrobe it's going to last forever. I think it's an absolute bargain. Um, so I really like this and I, I'm so glad I took it. It was one of the last ones left and I thought it was fantastic. It's slightly too big for me, but I actually like it like this, so I think it's perfect. Also, I, I like to wear something like this with um, like a fedora hat I'm going to show you. I got this fedora, I think, where did I get this? I got this cheap, I think it was in like, um, it was a vintage type shop, because I love vintage stuff as well. So just to wear it together, I think, okay, I need to fix the brim a bit, but just to wear this together, I think just looks really, really cool. And um, there you go. So I just wear it like this and go out or I can wear like a big black beanie hat and then you can just go out and you've got this on and um, put your bag on your shoulder and you're gone. And this was, I know this was cheap. I think I paid maybe 10 bucks for this. So it was just to show you some things I've got recently, some bits and pieces which I absolutely love wearing and um, didn't cost much. And I will have some more things to show you too. Take care.